At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. The cause of death for 38-year-old Amber Spradlin was released Thursday, June 29th at a press conference held by her family. Spradlin was stabbed in the head, neck, and face at least 11 times, leading to her death on June 18th at the home of local dentist Michael McKinney. We want Amber's killers, her murderers, to get what they deserve. We've, you know, we want them, we want them to get what they deserve. But also, if our 911 system has failed her, then at least she's too, it's too late for her, but at least it might help another family. And that's why this is so important. You know, I wouldn't wish this on anybody to have to go through. In December of 2022, the Floyd County Fiscal Court made the decision to transfer 911 emergency dispatch responsibilities from Kentucky State Police to the city of Prestonsburg due to fiscal concerns. However, since the transfer has been made, many residents have reported delays in dispatch. One magistrate said he is still waiting for someone to respond to his 911 call after more than 100 days. Is a person's life more important than money? I guarantee it's more important. And I'll tell you what, this family is suffering. And how many other families are suffering? I'm getting phone calls and they said, look into this case, look into that case. I've even written one down here in your materials. Uh, David and James Hoover from Hippo, Kentucky. David made a phone call and said, you gotta get somebody out here because I'm gonna shoot my brother. And three hours later, when the sheriff's department finally got notified, it was, was it three or four hours? When they finally got notified, they went up there. And when they got there, James had already been shot. And David looked at the officers and said, well, if you'd have gotten here when I made the phone call three hours ago, I wouldn't have had to shoot my brother. Now, that's a true story. That's a true story. How many more are out there? Amber's family has set up a petition to return the 911 emergency center to Kentucky State Police and they are meeting with Rocky Adkins to request the governor consider an emergency executive order to return 911 dispatch to Kentucky State Police. The police are doing their job and nobody, as far as I know, nobody is trying to cover up anything. Um, we're just, they're being very careful with the investigation, very careful. Uh, so that way, uh, whenever, when the arrest or arrests are made, then the right person is charged. And uh, so, you know, I just, I hope everybody understands that, um, you know, that we are totally behind the state police and uh, we, we respect uh, them for doing such a, a good job and, uh, and we feel we're lucky, we really do that we're lucky to have the help that we've had. The investigation is ongoing and no arrests have been made. We will bring you more details as they become available. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.